This is in a Demco Vista 21 IP. Um, don't know if anybody's actually seen this, but some folks haven't seen the internal, so I figured they might enjoy it. I pulled the cell module off. We'll mount that back up. What I did is I pulled, I covered up the uh, serials and the MAC address for the board because this unit's probably going to get used again, and I don't want that being on the net, obviously. But here you see an Ethernet jack, um, binding posts for everything else, and uh, leads for the battery. So pretty straightforward, not too crazy. And if you want, uh, you could run this IP only. You don't have to use a cellular board. Um, there is capability for built-in relays. There's two trigger outputs. They're real low current. you got to put this cable on. Also has built-in X10. I actually use the X10 output. Um, I've got an X10 uh, device hooked up here. Um, and I send X10 commands based upon contact closures to uh, the house. So, I mean, as a, as a basic home automation controller, if you wanted to, like, turn lights on when a, a door is opened or have a timer, I mean, the RTC on this is pretty accurate. Unlike the NAPCO panels, uh, the ADEMCO panel does actually seem to have an accurate real-time clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera here as I peel off this pink tape from the MAC address label. I'm going to take the cellular board. I'll show you the underside here. You can see it's a pretty cool-looking little board. And it simply just snaps on top, and again, I've got its serial data covered too, because I plan on using this panel, and I don't want that being out there. Alright, so, let's see if I can get this here in shot. So what I'm going to do is, to put this in place, there's, I don't know if I showed, the mating contacts are here. Oh, focus, there it goes. So the mating contacts are right here. And if you look, you can see that the uh, opposite side, the male contacts are actually on this board. But it's got a little bit of plastic on each side to make sure it sets in there properly. So we simply nope, try to lay that board on there like so. And just give it a little push. It's a little push. It really snaps in there. Okay, so that goes just like that. And then you get a little rubber ducky antenna that mounts on top of the box. See? And... You just took up the little, I think it's an SMA. I'm not good on my micro, micro microwave connectors. I think that's an SMA. Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong there, but plug that in and then you'll be active and good to go. And that's that.